the forehead of your robot. Hey there folks, it's me, Tobical Studios, owner of the Formidable Robot Channel. Right here in this video, I'm going to read my quote unquote first but worst creepypasta I have wrote back in my dark ages. And it's based on a well-known object show, known as Inanimate Insanity. And oh boy, this brings back so many bad memories. Well, it's technically not the first crappy pasta I wrote, but the first one I did was a Land Before Time TV series creepy pasta. If you don't know what that first pasta was, it involves around an eager protagonist getting a DVD, VHS, or whatever it was, and it was revealed that it was an episode of The Land Before Time, where Ducky started killing his friends for light reasons, and at the end, a jump scare of Ducky's demonic face with the screaming from Slendy Tubbies. It was said that the episode was created by an anonymous hidden figure, very stupid, I know. It's just your typical lost episode pasta, where the episode was created by a sick YouTube boot maker. This Land Before Time pasta was written back in late 2016 when I was 14, and I'm glad that it's gone, and that I got away with it. And this inanimate insanity pasta however, was written back in the summer of 2017, the quote-unquote second worst pasta I wrote at the age of 14. Since it's 2023 and I'm still 20 anyway, and I've seen worst creepypastas based on object shows like Battle for Dream Island and Inanimate Insanity. To be upright, making a lost episode creepypasta on an object show is not a good idea, it would end up being your typical collage of cliches and stupid plot lines. Anyway, my second worst pasta is called, Inanimate Insanity, Balloons Suicide. I know, it's just your typical lost suicide episode, where a major or minor character in their lives in gruesome ways imaginable, and it's literally just bullshit cliche madness. Similar to the Shadow Readers Freddy's Depressed Dog ABI, I doubt that this is one of the most abysmal pastas to keep existing. I remember doing a narration of it on my failed but now deleted creepypasta channel, only using a crappy female text-to-speech voice from text-to-speech.org, which is the voice for remote from BFB by the way. Also, there was another channel doing a narration of it, using his own voice and with music added, I mean, music that isn't calming or that suspenseful, it would just get silly right at the near end. Now with that bullshit out of the way, let's narrate this abomination of an object show pasta, and point out the runs in any sentence. Have you ever heard an object show called, Inanimate Insanity? It was created by Animation Epic, and is better than BFDI, BFDIA, IDFB, BFB, and Teapot, by Jack and Jellothy. What the fuck? I wrote this in July of 2017. And then, it was edited to become recent. By the way, BFB didn't came out until November, four months after this garbage was made, and Teapot was never thought of until 2021. What the hell is this story anymore? Also 14 year old me, you've missed a certain word in that first sentence. It's supposed to be, have you ever heard of an object show called, Inanimate Insanity? By the way, Inanimate Insanity was way too close to be better than the BFDI franchise. Move on. Well there's two seasons. Inanimate Insanity and Inanimate Insanity 2, in a form of a Roman numeral, the ones that came out on YouTube. There's an unreleased episode on YouTube of it, it's called, Balloons Suicide. Anyway past me, you should have gave it a better description of where this quote unreleased episode was made. Is it season 1, or season 2? Well, I don't even fucking know. This is clickbait, I thought. It started with light bulb and paintbrush. Where the hell did you even find this episode? Is it from the official animation epic channel, possibly enlisted, or even from another channel, where it could be some kind of abysmal parody where the animation looked accurate to the shows? Why can't you just elaborate better for God's sake? And to be fair, this episode had nothing to do with challenges and or objects competing with each other. It's just a raunchy, boring and bland episode up until the end. I would assume that this episode could be Balloon's elimination, which I took as a matter of speech. Then, Balloon came to see them, but everyone hates Balloon, so Balloon is still lonely. Two hours later, Balloon was pale. Everyone looked at Balloon and said. No one likes you. 
Then Light's bulb said. You're one fat inflated freak. But the voices sounded odd. They didn't sound cartoon-like, they were voiced by different people that I don't know. No shit Sherlock. There's no explanation on why the characters were voiced by unknown people. Maybe it was possibly some kind of sick parody with the accurate animation style, or the fact that the original voice actors were on a hiatus. This is literally taken from a classic spin pasta known as the alternate ending to Toy Story 3, where the well-known characters were voiced by different and unknown people, and that Woody wasn't even voiced by Tom Hanks at all. Anyway, the insults on Balloon were possibly okay, along with the line no one likes you being the strongest one, and with fat inflated freak being a clever insult to a person who is insanely obese, or maybe for some kind of deviant art trend. But, continuing. Then Balloon started running away, it cuts to that familiar hotel, then OJ, stands for orange juice, tortured his feelings and he said. No one likes you. Then slams to door too hard to break the building. What is this, Looney Tunes? Anyway, that familiar hotel is literally called, Hotel OJ. Also at the end of the paragraph, it's literally the word to, T-O, said three times at this broken sentence, the first two needs to be replaced with a, the, and that second two supposed to have two O's. It was supposed to say, then slams the door too hard to break the building. Or maybe in a clear and polished way, it would say, and then slams the door in a huge hard and violent way possible, that it almost caused the door to break apart. Balloon was outside, sobbing and crying, the crying sounded different. It wasn't cartoony anymore, it sounded painfully realistic, but the sound wasn't coming from the speaker, it coming from behind me. What, what the fuck? This is straight up taken from Squidward's suicide, and it is a rip-off of it, despite it being a suicide episode. Anyway, it was taken from any shitty lost episode creepypasta that had this effect. It's literally the same thing, realistic crying, realistic screaming, and even fucking realistic orgasm. One of the worst cliches to ever be overused for recent lost episode pastas. You don't even know what realistic is anymore, and you should have learned it better 14 year old me. What if Balloon was real and behind me? He's not even real you absolute hypocrite. He's a fictional character, and accept the fact that fictional characters were never real. Animation Epic shouldn't have used that crying sound effect or weird realistic voices, the content would be disturbing to younger viewers under 12 or 15, no shit Sherlock. Then it cut to static, that freaked me out. It cut to balloon with a evil leafy like face. Oh you mean that piece of shit? Yeah, I can definitely tell what was going on by that poorly edited screen cap. You could entirely see a bit of evil leafy red on balloon's face. To be honest, I made this in Microsoft Paint. Not Paint.net, not Microsoft PowerPoint, just Microsoft fucking Paint. And the camera was zooming in with static, the sound started tickling behind me, well that's stupid. Then something unimportant, that word didn't mean anything, and why was this added, and disturbing, it was a photo of destroyed objects covered in realistic blood. Okay, this was made in a similar manner to the slaughtered children in Squidward's suicide, but with an object show twist to it. Also, you couldn't specify what the destroyed objects in the photo are. Maybe it could be a shattered vase, a ruptured computer, and to make this story even fair, is that it could be pocked balloons. What's the point of blood being shown on the photo, and what was the point of it being realistic? Maybe it could have been a crime scene photo of the broken and bloodied objects, but this is literally pointless to be added in this story. The mess they had caused was trouble, it was a punishment. This, literally, makes, no, fucking, sense. This didn't explain anything, are you that dead serious young me? Punishment my ass. It cuts to Balloon, still with his evil leafy face from the FDIA. Well at least you specify what the evil leafy face came from, but still, that didn't explain anything. It's like when I talk about old Jolto's playlist called, Important Videos, what? What the fuck does any of this mean? Il Jolto's Important Videos playlist? That shit doesn't have anything to do with inanimate insanity, BFDI or any objects show out there. 
it used to be one of the most relevant YouTube playlists of 2016 and even 2017, the year where this crappy pasta was created, and soon buried into obscurity in 2018. The playlist wasn't even that important anymore. But not that, just balloon. The sound was in the background, it sounded like it came from an over-18 horror movie but not, it's realistic. Fuck, you didn't get to specify what this over-18 horror movie sound playing in the background. And what's the point of it being realistic? My god, how much of a lazy son of a bitch you are 14 year old me, you pretty much had a severely scramble brain, that you can't write a proper lost episode creepypasta like the shadow reader. Moving on. I can hear glass, objects breaking, banging, someone slowly dying loudly, and blood splattering. Oh how silly of me to forget that. I really really don't get these specific words for the quote over 18 horror sounds in the background. But it still doesn't make sense at all. Is the quote unquote someone a male or female? I don't freaking know, but you're so god forbid lazy 14 year old me. This is extremely disturbing for over 12 or 15 object show lovers like me, a fan of inanimate insanity and BFDI, what a hypocrite. Balloon is still, the screen is still, and the sounds of chaos are getting worse. Then it cuts to Balloon again with his evil leafy face but sad, the sound has changed now, it was the screaming sound effects and gurgling. Maybe it could be the same old screaming woman sound used in Slendy Tubbies. How can this object show turn into a horror show, but between object show horror, and the sound began to get even more messy. It zooms out that Balloon had an unknown weapon in his hand, it was a pin, like from BFDI. Oh yeah, the pin asset being used in Inanimate Insanity, what an amazing reference. Then Balloon pops himself in the head, but with a very loud pop. It cuts to Balloon, popped and deflated, and he familiar words from these objects was, no one likes you, but with an echo. Then it cuts to static, just cuts to black with white text saying, no one likes balloons, we are done for. But I like balloons, balloons are my favorite. Well not to mention some of the lowercase i's in this story. My god, do anyone hate lowercase i's in creepypastas? I turned around, it was a gift. A real life, regular, red balloon with a string at the bottom floating with helium inside, and it had a sad face drawn with a black marker, sad face emoji. This plot, was a trend in these abysmal lost episode pastas. There's no way that such a lost episode would blend fiction with reality. I certainly don't fucking know where this sad balloon came from. And there's even an image of the balloon. This was straight up taken from Google Images, and then edited out with a crude sad face in, again, Microsoft fucking paint. It was labeled, I don't like balloons, only you can have it. I erase the frown with watered sponge, dry it and draw a smile with my black marker. The label is changed, it said, I hate balloons, don't use it, and the balloon turned evil, with a familiar evil leafy face from BFDI, BFDI or IDFB. I screamed. I'm gonna pop that cursed balloon. With a real life pin. Then I popped it, it splattered blood. That real life helium balloon is not even live you know. Then I cleaned it up so it didn't look like I killed somebody, no shit Sherlock. I'm glad that the balloon related nightmare is over, restricted to inanimate insanity. The end. Oh god. Oh god oh god oh fucking god. That was an absolute mess. Since I revisited this story, I was like, what the fuck is this anymore? Do you wanna know why it was written so badly? I wrote this in WordPad. Not Microsoft Word, not Google Docs, just WordPad from Windows. Unlike Freddy's Depressed.ADI, it was written so poorly, and none of this makes any remote sense. I have a few things to say about my 14 year old self. I have no idea what a creepypasta is anymore, since I came across this internet trend in 2013 at the age of 10. I've wrote one of the worst creepypastas ever made, but I'm glad that my first pasta about the land before time was snapped out of existence. To my shitty inanimate insanity creepypasta, I have so many things to say. The grammar is atrocious, the plot lines are stupid and hypocritical, it's borderline out of context, it's severely underrated, it's plagiarizing, it's cliché infested, it's harshly confusing, and none of this make any remote and proper sense. 
There was no reason for making a lost episode creepypasta of a certain object show, like Battle for Dream Island and Inanimate Insanity. This was even worse than the other object show pastas that had this effect. And I really have a hate boner on lowercase i's in pastas like this. This episode wasn't just your typical total drama wannabe, it's just bullshit and so does the ending. This was the reason why I don't do narrations of shitty object show creepypastas on this channel anymore, or any other lost episode pasta that had this disorienting effect. This is even worse than the two Slendy Tubbies episode pastas I wrote in 2021. This stayed up for literally 6 years on the lost episode creepypasta wiki, and my 20 year old self can't tell how disgusted and confused I was. This was recently edited, adding the not yet released BFDI titles, despite it being taken place in the summer of 2017, and even a few notes I don't bother talking about. I don't even know who Diamond Coin is. A few screenshots were recently added, but they were ripped off from existing inanimate insanity episodes. The original screenshots were entirely done in Microsoft Paint back then. This was posted on my forever abandoned fandom account. So that was the reason why it was badly written to begin with. This was my best opinion on my godforsaken story from 2017. My final rating on it. Negative 5 out of 10, never gonna read it again. This is Tobical Studios, owner of the Formidable Robot Channel, hoping you've enjoyed this commentary on my failed creation. See you later.